Martin is convinced that his online relationship with Diana is far from the online trickery YouTube clips that he's seen. He's been in a relationship with Diana for four years. Martin can't begin to think of his relationship with her overseas girlfriend as fake. There's a tiny voice in his head that whispers, What if it works out with Diana? What if, after all this while, she is the one? But his friends and family never cease to put pressure on him. They express their doubts about his too-good-to-be-true romance. And this leads Martin to reach out to an online investigation company. Martin is an engineer in his 60s. He enjoys watching movies on Netflix, riding his motorcycle, and spending time with his cats. He has been married twice before. His first union lacked romance and chemistry. He found his second wife beautiful and stayed with her for 18 years, but he just didn't love her enough to make it last a lifetime. Loneliness slowly creeps into Martin's life afterwards. So he tries online dating. Ukraine date play meet Ukrainian singles, the site reads. There are many beautiful young women on the site. Martin is particularly smitten by Diana Moroskina. Diana is in her early 30s, a blonde, face model, beautician, and Ukrainian. She's gorgeous. Diana speaks Russian more than English. Martin resorts to Google Translate to keep the fire between them burning. Martin feels like he's finally found a woman good enough to meet his standards. Diana is the type of woman he's been waiting for all his life. Diana loves Apple products, iPhones, iPads, Apple Watches, etc. That's one of the first things Martin learns about her. Martin creates a fantasy world with Diana. Martin starts having dreams in which he's a king and Diana his queen. He falls deeper in love with Diana by the day. He talks to her all the time and can't even concentrate on his work. He can't get enough of staring at her beautiful selfies all day. Martin longs to have Diana in his arms. He wants to cook for her and spoil her with all he can afford. The love-struck man will go to any extent to make Diana happy and to finally meet her in person. He tells her that he's not like young guys and he knows how to treat a woman. Martin begins to send Diana gifts of things, including chocolates, teas, and American whiskeys she loves but can't get in her country. She has an expensive taste. Diana always sends Martin pictures confirming that she's received the gifts. Martin loves how Diana is so thankful. He sends her money to go on vacations, dance with friends, go on lake cruises, etc. Diana introduces Martin to her friends. He even gets the chance to talk to her brother. Then a tragedy hits. February 2022, Russia invades Ukraine. Diana's apartment is one of the buildings that gets bombed. Diana survives, but Ukraine is no longer safe for her. Martin sympathizes with his girlfriend. He asks her how he can help in any way. Martin begins sending Diana thousands of dollars so that she can escape and settle in Poland with her uncle. Martin pays for Diana's living expenses until she can get back on her feet. But more tragedies follow. Diana's mother fell sick and needed medical attention. Diana uses the money Martin sent for the treatment to take care of her knee injury instead and hence needs more money. Martin understands the situation and sends more. Diana makes sure to send Martin receipts confirming how she's spending the money according to her story. Martin keeps on digging into his pockets and savings. In the end, he has sent Diana a total of $30,000. Martin can't keep up with his own bills at this point. He moves back in with his ex-wife and sleeps on the patio. Martin's family then learns about his mysterious Ukrainian girlfriend that he has never met but keeps on sending money. He has already invested a lot of emotional energy and a huge amount of money into the relationship at this point. Martin doesn't want his family to take away his hope of starting a new life with Diana. He's convinced that she's real, or else he would have broken up with her a long time back. So he reaches out to an online investigation company. The company finds out that Diana isn't who she's claiming to be. They find the true identity of the woman in the pictures. Her name is Alina. Alina is in her early 20s. She's Russian and happily married to the man that was sent to Martin by Diana, claiming it's her brother. But Alina knows nothing about the scam. She's also a victim whose pictures have been stolen and used to catfish Martin. The address that Mateen has been sending gifts to doesn't exist. But somehow the packages made their way to the scammer because the address traces to a shopping center. The receipts that Diana sent Martin were actually made using an online invoice template that anyone can access. Martin realizes that he's been played, and he feels too embarrassed to let his family and friends know. Martin stated, Martin is just one of the hundreds of thousands of men and women who get scammed in online relationships in a bid to escape loneliness. Loneliness is what romance scammers take advantage of to exploit innocent people who are disconnected from the real world. At least Martin accepted that he was played. He decided to pick up the pieces of his life, snap back to reality, start therapy, and begin building real-life relationships with the people who genuinely love him. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and be kind to one another.